Hi, I'm going to be looking at true shooting percentage, which is a somewhat of an advanced stat used in the NBA, and it takes into account if a player is shooting twos, threes, or free throws, as opposed to field goal percentage, which only takes into account makes and misses. So we kind of look, I just grabbed this formula from Wikipedia for true shooting percentage, and so we have TS percentage, or true shooting percentage, equals points scored divided by two times the quantity field goals attempted plus 0 0.44 times free throws attempted. And it's pretty straightforward if you just want to plug in numbers and you can figure out someone's true shooting percentage, but I wanted to break it up a little bit and just kind of see what it means. And I think the, some, the easiest way for me anyway to do this was first I looked at the case where there were zero free throws attempted. So just looking at field goals. So if there were zero free throws attempted, then our formula would look like this. So then we'd have true shooting percentage equals points over two times field goals attempted, then it's plus 0 0.44. Well, if we had zero free throws attempted, that whole thing would just become zero. So it would just stay like that. And first case, what if someone only made twos? Because I just want to show you what this weighting looks like in case it's not obvious. So if someone only made twos, let's say someone went 10 of 10 on two pointers, so that would give them 20 points, then their true shooting percentage would equal, okay, they went 10 of 10, they have 20 points, this is just plugging this into our equation, divided by two times 10 field goals attempted, so that would be 20 over 20, which equals 1, or that's the same as 100%. Okay, and you, that's fairly obvious. They went 10 of 10 from the field, so maybe you think, oh, well, of course that would be 100%. But then if you look at another case, now let's say they shot all threes. So now they go 10 of 10 again, let's say. This person's on fire. <laughs> so they go 10 of 10, and they get 30 points. So now their true shooting percentage is... 30, now they have 30 over 2 times, they still only attempted 10 field goals, so now they have 30 over 20, which equals 1.5, or that's 150%. And so that, now you can see the value of true shooting percentage, because it takes into account someone who's shooting 3s versus 2s, because if someone only shot 3s, like here, they had the same number of field goals attempted with 10. But this person had 30 points who was shooting threes versus only 20 for someone shooting twos. And you can check for yourself, 30 is 150% more than 20, or 1.5. So right, 20 times 1.5 equals 30. And so it, it's really useful to weight twos and versus threes. And actually, just this formula without free throws is the effective field goal percentage, which I'll probably do a separate video for that. But anyway... Now, taking into account free throws, and this is the part that was really tricky for me, especially this factor of 0 0.44, and I'll explain what that means. But I think it's first helpful to consider the case where we only shot free throws. So let's say a player only shot free throws, so they're, in this case they have zero field goals attempted. So now the true shooting formula looks like this. Points over... Now we have two times, okay, now our field goals attempted is zero, so it's just 0.44 times free throws attempted. And for this case, let's consider a player, let's say DeAndre Jordan has been working, he's tired of people fouling him as part of a strategy, since he's such a poor foul shooter. So he practices and he gets to where they, they still try to foul him, but he makes 25 out of 25 free throws in a game. So he's on a roll. So what was, his, what was his true shooting percent look like? So here his true shooting percent. Now he has, in this case, I'm assuming he has no field goals attempted. So true shooting percent would be points. He has 25 over 2 times 0.44 times 25. And let's see what that looks like. Uh, so I'm going to solve for this denominator here. So we have 2 times point. 4, 4 times 25, that equals 22. 
So this equals 25 over 22. Okay, so then it's true shooting percentage. Let's write that as a percentage. So now 25 over 22, 1.136 is true shooting is 1.136 or 113.6%. And this is the part that was a little confusing to me because it makes sense that a 3 would be considered shooting higher percentage than a 2, but why would a free throw be considered higher? The reason for this is because some free throws are kind of extra beyond just a regular two-point shot. So most of the time when someone's fouled, most of the time it's a two-point shot, they get fouled, and then they shoot two free throws. But then there's also times someone may be fouled on a three-point shot, right? So on a three-point shot, then they're getting one extra free throw beyond a normal two-point foul shot. So you have to account for that extra free throw, because now they got three points on the possession instead of just two. So really it was higher than a 100% true shooting. Or someone could have gotten an and one. Or maybe someone uh, shot a technical foul shot, or maybe someone shot flagrant foul shots. And so all these, all these kind of extra free throws, the extra one on the three point, the and one, the technical, the flagrant, if we look at this 2 times 0.44, 2 times 0.44 equals 0.88, or 88%. And this 88%, that's the percent of free throws that come on a normal two-point shot where someone's fouled. This other 12% are all these, these kind of extra free throws. And on average, the reason I chose 25, you can see if we look at this fraction over here, this 25 over 22. On average, for every 25 free throws taken, 22 of them are on a normal two-point foul shot, and the other three, to make the 25, are from one of these kind of gravy free throws. So now let's look at one more example, um, and kind of take into account everything. So let's say a player went 8 out of 20 from the field, and let's say they had four twos for eight points, and they had four threes for 12 points. And then let's also say they went four of five from free throws. So they had four here, eight, that's 12, and another 12. So they had 24 points. And 20 field goals attempted. So let's see, they're true shooting percentage would equal, they had 24 points divided by 2 times field goals attempted is 20 plus 0.44 times free throws attempted which was 5 so this equals 24 over, let's pull our calculator back out they had, let's see, 0.44 4, 4 times 5 free throws plus 20 times 2. So our bottom is 44.4. 44.4. So then that equals, if we clear that, 24 divided by 44.4 equals 54.05. 54.05. And that's their true shooting percentage. And you just have to be careful with true shooting percentage. It's not an end-all on how well sh someone's shooting because it really doesn't take into account. It's just doing an average on the free throws, right? This factor... Um, it's doing an average on the free throw, so if someone didn't have any of these extra free throws, so to speak, that didn't take a possession, if they just had normal two-point foul shot free throws, then really uh, it inflates their true shooting percentage a little bit. But I hope that made sense. If you have a question, leave something in the comments, and hope to see you next time.